Hi everyone, my name is Phil Bannon and I'm running for mayor of Wichert Stovall. This is a very exciting time for me and a very exciting time for our community. There's a few key issues here that I'd like to touch on with you over the next five minutes. Some of those issues include transit, community safety, and quality of life. Communication and, and transparency are my number one priorities for government. When I was first elected in 2003, I, uh, I started a, a program uh, where I distributed a newsletter. Uh, I found out that the residents in rural Stouffville were not informed. My newsletter was distributed to them and it was based on facts in town. Issues at town council, social, uh, social events in town, fundraising events in town, and it kept my residents informed. I expanded that communication program to, uh, uh, to a, a, a series of town hall meetings where they were kept up to date and we discussed issues that were relevant to them in the community. I also expanded that to a web page where I now distribute up to 2,000 emails for people who are registered on my web page. These are current updated emails that they get from me in relation to town issues. When I am elected as your mayor, I will continue expanding this communication network and the transparency. I want you to know what's going on in the town. I want to know what your issues are. I want you to tell me what your issues are. I will provide each and every resident in this town an opportunity to meet with me and your counselor on a monthly basis. We will discuss your issues. We will have town staff responsible for that area in the meeting. We will resolve your issues on a regular basis every month. What am I gonna do with transit? A very good question. What I'm hearing from the residents of Wichert Stovall is we need new expanded transit. We need more regular service. We need expanded routes. We need connectivity. It's very important for me to provide the residents of, uh, of Witcher Stovall with connectivity. We have, small little, um, um, we have small little communities in Stovall that uh, are isolated. And I, I can identify those as Musselman's Lake, Gormley, Lemonville, uh, Ballantrae. And these communities expand on a regular basis in the summer. For example, Musselman Lakes, uh, Musselman's Lake expands by 5,000 people every summer with employees who work at Cedar Beach, the campground, people who reside at the campground in the summer, and then the employees and residents of Shadow Lake. They have no transit. They have no transit service. We have all of our residents in the rural area who don't have exposure to all the new facilities and the new programs that we're initiating in town. I want to make sure that those kids, that those families have an opportunity, if they don't have vehicles, I want them to have the opportunity to come into town and, and be part of our community, to be part of our family growth in this town. I want you to have the opportunity to take transit from Stouffville and connect with Aurora. There should be a transit route up, a transit route up Ninth Line and across Aurora Road, which connects with the GO bus service at the 404. That will also connect you with Aurora Transit, and it'll take you over to the, the, the Young Street Corridor. I want bus shelters for the people who are taking transit in this town. I want to make sure that our transit schedule complements the GO service that we have established in this town. But what we need most is we need better GO service. We need more regular service and we need better service. So we, what we have to do is we have to work with our provincial counterparts to make sure them and Metrolinx expand the GO service for this town. We're limited. We're limited with the exposure that we have. We don't have service on the weekends. We don't have service during the day. We want to make sure that the new residents in this town who have to go to, have to, go to work on a regular basis, daily basis, have that regular transit and go service available to them. Community safety is a very important issue for me. As a retired uh, police officer with the City of Toronto, I spent 32 and a half years uh, working with the City of Toronto, retired as a detective sergeant in charge of uh, in investigative services. What I want to say to you is that community safety is a priority for any community. We are currently living in one of the safest communities in Ontario, if not Canada. And I will make sure that this stays the safest community in Ontario and or Canada. 
by expanding and providing you more efficient and effective police, fire, and EMS service. Right now, I don't feel that we're getting the best response times that we can from all three of our services. We need more staff. We need a better service delivery system out there. Right now, we have to deal with EMS, which is a regional service through a provincial communication network. We have to expand that EMS service so that our fire and our police services are not doing the backup calls for EMS. EMS has to provide that service. It's essential in our community. We pay taxes for them and we need expanded EMS service and fire service in this community and I will provide that for you. I want to talk to you about quality of life and what's important to you and our community. We have a natural green fence around our community. It's called the Oak Ridges Moraine and it's called the Green Belt. We are going to protect that for your future and for your children's future. We will limit the growth in our town to make sure that we take, we take control of our municipality back from the builders. The builders will no longer define where we are going for the future of our municipality. I am committed to protecting our green space. Over the past 11 years, I have personally been responsible for dedicating over 200 acres of pristine conservation land to the Lake Simcoe Conservation Authority through the new dedicated parkland we have in Musselman's Lake, the Coltis Park. We have dedicated over 135 acres to the Conservation Authority. That's new trails, that's, that's a new park, a 4.5 acre park, that's new walking paths. I had, uh, we have, a, we have a, um, um, a growth area on Highway 48 and both of these communities as they were built, the geranium uh, properties on Highway 48 had to dedicate over 35 acres. The other property had to dedicate over 26 acres. This is what the future is of Stouffville, dedicated conservation land. I will protect that for you. I am committed to protecting that for you. There will be no growth into the Oak Ridges Moraine or the Greenbelt as long as I am your mayor. Who talks about accessibility in our town? Nobody. I do. I've been on the Accessibility Committee now for seven years. We are committed in this town I am committed as your mayor to make this the first accessible free town in Ontario, if not Canada. You're going to see dedicated resources to putting in ramps into our businesses in town. You've seen an investment from the Downtown Stovall Working Group, which is through council, which is, a, which is an initiative that I promoted and I stand behind, is providing grants for business owners in our town who want to put in ramps, who want to put in accessible free doors, um, uh, washrooms, whatever they have to do, I am committed to helping them do this in this community. Our people, our residents in this community deserve our support, they deserve our attention, and they will get it from Phil Bannon as your mayor. Growth is very important to our community. When I was first elected in 2003, there were 12,000 urban uh, uh, residents and there was 12,000 rural residents. That has expanded now um, to, to 44,000 residents that we have in this community. Over the past 11 years I have worked with a, a mayor and members of council and we have not restricted growth, we have managed growth. We are destined to grow out uh, in 2031 to 60,000 people. That's an immense, immense growth pattern in our communities. We have to make sure that we have people leading this council who can define where this municipality is going, where this town is going, and control that growth. We will stop growing at 60,000 people. We will control that growth. We will not let developers define the future of our town. We, as the residents of this community, will define the future of Stouffville together. As, as your mayor, I will make sure that you have a strong voice in the future of Richard Stouffville. One of the most important investments in our future is going to be the expansion of our Leisure Services Centre. What's important to you is what is important to me. 
is providing you with facilities and programs. I believe in providing our seniors with a, service, a senior center. I am committed to building them a new senior center in the new Leisure Services building. I'm committed to building you a new library. I am committed to providing you with an expanded Leisure Services Center that will include a new indoor track, a new workout gym facility, two new gymnasiums that will be built to provide programs for our youth. I do not believe in youth, youth centers. I believe in youth programs. We will have staff all day long in that building defining schedules for our youth, providing leadership, providing direction and supervision for our families and our youth. Our seniors will be sheltered in this building. I, inc I, I also include in this growth pattern uh, two new pools, a TOTS pool and a family pool. But what else is important is providing space for our art gallery. I want our art gallery to be involved in this Leisure Service Centre because I want one-stop shopping for you. I want you to be able to take your family to the Leisure Services Centre. Go for a workout. Have your wife go for a swim. Have your kids involved in a youth program in the gymnasium, playing badminton, playing basketball, playing volleyball. Then I want you to go get a book. I want you to get a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. I want you to walk through the art gallery. I want you to sit in the foyer. I want you to be part of a community centre. For me, there is nothing more important in our town than communities. And for me, communities is families, families spending time together. You'll spend that time together. This is prime time that you're going to have, and you're going to have the most state-of-the-art, modern complex that you've ever seen in, in, our, in our age. And I am committed to providing that to you, and I am the only mayoralty candidate that will stand up and tell you that I am committed to building this facility for you and providing our seniors with a new senior centre. Look back at the time when uh, uh, members of council wanted to build a senior centre in the back warehouse of the town hall. Think about that. Seniors in a warehouse in the back of the town hall. No transit, no parking, no facilities, no programs. I am providing you with the most modern, up-to-date facility in your region. Transit lines will be directed to this facility. We're going to expand our parking. This is going to be destination shopping for pleasure for all of the residents of Wichard Stobel. And I am committed to providing this facility for you and building this facility for you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for what you have done for our community. It's you that have set the standards. It's because of your support that Council has provided you with one of the strongest economic development plans in Ontario. It's why we have one of the safest communities in Ontario. It's why we have one of the most fam uh, uh, family-friendly municipalities in Ontario. In 2003, you elected a council, a council that represented strength, family values, strong moral foundation. You re-elected all of those members of council again in 2006. You re-elected all of those members of council again in 2010. If they all stood together today, they would all be re-elected in 2014. Why? Because you set the bar high. You set the bar for municipal councillors. You made sure that you went out and you researched each and every candidate that ran in those elections and you continued to support the candidates that were in. Why? Because they were the best candidates available running in the election. I'm asking you one more time, do your job. I'm standing before you telling you what I'm going to do and what I have done in the past. I'm committed to this municipality and I'm asking you to commit in this election. I'm asking you to spend five minutes. Spend five minutes of your very valuable time. Research your candidates. Look at their websites. Look at their literature. 
look at their resumes. Compare their resumes to each other and you will see that there is a gap, a huge gap between your qualified candidates and your unqualified candidates. Look at the commitments to this community. What have they done over the last four to eight years? What commitments have they done? What community events have they run? Don't allow them to just make promises to you. Define the future of this town by what they have committed to you in the past. How have they helped build this community? I leave this in your hands. I just ask you to do what I'm doing in this election. Participate. Do your job. Thank you.